if you are preparing for your IMAT exam, just two months are remaining and you do not know how to start your preparation. And even if you have started your preparation, you feel like I'm not going to crack my exam because you do not believe in the resources that you followed. I'm going to tell you in this video how to crack your IMAT exam in two months, which resources to follow and what you need to study for your IMAT exam. Like what are the topics, what are the chapters that you need to study for your IMAT exam. I'm going to break down each and everything. But remember this thing as I will give you a complete blueprint that if you followed, remember this thing, if you followed, that is going to be hard, little hard. But if you followed, 100% there is a guarantee you will pass it. You will crack your IMAT exam. So what is that blueprint? Just get a cup of tea and sit back and let's begin this video. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to prepare for IMAT exam in two months. I'm going to give you a kind of roadmap and I really want you to follow that because the first thing here, you are like, you do not know anything about IMAT. And second thing, you know about IMAT, you have gone through the IMAT syllabus and you have pretty good idea. So whatever the category you like, it's all fun because I'm going to tell you the first thing first, if you do not know about anything about IMAT, then the first step is start from syllabus. The syllabus is everything. I know it's like kind of boring because I tell in my all videos, you need to start from the syllabus. The syllabus is there. It is in the form of PDF that Italian ministry has published. And the good thing is I have made the explanatory video about each subject, what you need to study that is freely available, free masterclass available on my channel that you can watch to understand what topics you need to study in each chapter of the IMAT for biology, chemistry, physics, maths and then it comes for logical reasoning as well. So there you go. You can watch those. But here's the thing. Just get up simple PDF that is in the video description. Just go over the page and download it and just store it on your devices. And remember this thing. Once you have seen the IMAT syllabus, you need to highlight what are the high yield topics that IMAT asks. So for this purpose, I have told in those master classes what you need to study, what are the high yield things. So I would 100% recommend you should be watching and must check out my video for IMA 2025 syllabus that will give you complete roadmap about that. What are the high yield topics? Okay. Anyways, okay. High yield topics are those from where IMA asks the most questions. So you, if you know them and if you just prepare for them, although you will be preparing for rest of them as well, but if you just more focus on those topics, it means you have got the basic thing, okay? Now you have understood the syllabus and you know about IMAT syllabus, what you really need to prepare. But the best or the like the biggest thing that will be playing your huge role in these two months is make yourself a planner. Because without planner, you can't do that. I have like got this thing too much that you should be having planner. And most students know, how should I be making planner? How should I be making planner? I don't know what is planner, what is planner. Planner is nothing. It's just like in one and a half month, you have to complete your whole syllabus. It's doable because in my live courses, one, one month batches, I'm teaching my whole syllabus with like covering every day, one or two chapters. That's like doable. It's doable with past papers. We are doing that. So it's doable. I have got that. So what you need to do is get all the syllabus, get all the high yield chapters and do thing. Just go to the chat GPT or go to Gemini and ask like those buddies, okay? Ask your those buddies. Those are your buddies, literally. Ask them to give you, to make you a planner for one and a half months and also ask them to give you the most high yield topics. These are the high yield chapters that some of you have highlighted and some of them they will make and they will give you. Although their information will be not that accurate, but it would be something because you do not have something, okay? So it would be something. It will mean a lot rather than having nothing. So start with that. It will be a complete thing. And I want, okay, I really want. The thing is, IMAT is based on biology, chemistry, most weighted subject. And then there is logical reasoning, maths, physics, and then general knowledge. So I would suggest focus more on biology, chemistry, then add logical reasoning. And then along with that, physics, physics is like easy, it's not hard. And then maths and general knowledge. So this way you can outperform in your exam. Now I would 100% suggest in this little time, you have to become a smart worker rather than hard work. Okay, hard work will be there, but smart work will play a more role. Okay, anyways, now you got your syllabus, you know syllabus, you have made the planner out of it. Now you are going to prepare for it. Okay, and now you have made a planner for one and a half month. By the way, if you want a one month planner, 
that I teach in my life course, you can check out the link below. Every single detail will be there. Okay. Anyways, and now which resources you should be following? Resources section is very important. The two resources are there. The first is lectures. The second thing is books. Okay. Lectures and books. Now, you will see lots of buddy will be telling you, you should be using Pearson book, RB diploma books, or like blah, blah books. Those are like very, very huge books. You can't use those books right now. Remember this thing. So the best thing I would be suggesting, okay, if I would be preparing in your shoes, I won't be following any books at all because this is not the time to follow books. These are just like two months, but I should be, be I would be following books. Like books tell us information in the form of stories. That's why we learn. I would be following. The best approach would be I would be consuming lectures and out of that, I would be making notes and then I would be revising again and again by analyzing all the IMAT past papers. So this is the like the best approach you can ever get. But most students can do that unless you have little experience because you are all high school students and those students who have got experience, they like do this way and they will 100% crack it. So now the thing is from where you should be following lectures, we will come on books part later. Okay, now I have got all the lectures resources that you should be following in a separate video, like the video appearing here, or you can check from the video description as well. So it is listed there. Now in that video, I have got all the free resources in first half. And then there are one, two premium resources that you can follow absolutely game changer, but free resources would be enough, I would say. But if you want well organized and everything in like one place, then you should be going for premium resources because this is going to be the decision of your career. And if you can invest it, that's like absolutely fine. But free resources does the absolute job fine if you have proper strategies. Anyways, okay, now you got the lecture resources. Now what you should be doing for books. So now I would 100% suggest do not, do not go for Pearson or big books. And at this time, I would suggest the books that you have studied in your high school, you should be preferring them. But the books, if you like don't want to spend much time on your high school books, you know, I I know my books, so I should be using another like uh, international level books, then I would be suggesting you, you should be going with A levels, which are from Cambridge. And those books are absolutely fine. And those books are to the point, okay, to the point books. And those are little shorter books. So these are easier to cover and easier to understand. You can easily do them in one and half month. So this is like a leverage that you can get. So for biology, chemistry and physics, you should be following those books. You should be and try to highlight as much as you can, because then you will be doing 15 days revision. And in that revision, you have to come back and read the highlighted material. And if you can make some short notes, that would be a game changer when it comes to revision. Okay. I hope you guys got it. Okay. So now you know about lectures and now you know about books. The books I would be 100% suggesting do not go for any student or anybody tells you that this is the book that you should be following for IMAT. Even if your teacher is telling you do not use those. Use straightforwardly A-level books if you want. Otherwise, go for your high school books because now at this time, there are just two months, although they, it can be game changer. But if you can spend more time, because the concepts are going to be same. Remember this thing, concepts are same. Just A level has got more kind of like, uh, I would say more organized and good information. And previously Cambridge was making the test up till year 2022. And afterwards, now Seneca is making. So I would suggest A level would be doing work really, really like fine. So you should be going with A level books at this time. And now you know about the syllabus. You have got the well-planned structure and now you have got all the resources that you would be using to learn. Okay. Now you got the resources. Okay. Now there comes the next step, which is practice. Okay. Now this practice would be based on, or I would categorize them into two categories. The first is past papers and second one are your practice books. Remember this thing, past papers are your, the sole, sole help that will be teaching you what you should be doing, like what should be your direction. So start with your past papers. All the past papers are uploaded on my website. Go and download them for free. The link will be in video description or just go to the first article. Everything will be mentioned there. So now what you need to do, download all the past paper. Keys are available. I want all of you to solve every fourth day, every fourth day, just woke up every day in morning at 8 a.m. And then 8 a.m. sit down and start one full paper. The most students do, they go for easy subjects like for biology and then they will be attempting chemistry. They will forget about logical reasoning, learning knowledge and all other subjects. So I want you to solve full paper and give yourself marks. For correct option, give yourself plus 1.5. And for negative option or the wrong answer, give yourself 
negative 0.4 and for not attempted question or you will be attempting all i want i don't want you to like left any question but if you left it gives yourself a zero score and then count all the scores what you're getting so for do this for all the i met past papers from 2011 up till 2024 and see what is your progress my progress like i was getting this 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 score i'm approving or not so this will be your kind of feedback and once you attempt the past paper you will get an idea how i might ask the questions and the best thing is you will be getting which subjects or which portions are weak you're weak so you should be focusing more on them and you have to read some like topic let's say dna and you didn't focus on phosphodiester bonds and those and nitrogen spaces how many hydrogen bonds are there and what is the science all like all the things you forgot about that when you went through first time now you can go back now you have an idea after solving i'm at past paper that i'm at asked this way so you can focus on them okay after past papers there are practice books okay before practice books let's go back again to past papers and you need to solve beam at past papers as well for beam at past papers i have got all the solutions solved solutions uploaded in my website that you can check out freely there is a video attached as well that you can watch that is a like very short video that will teach you how to use that website for beam at past paper solutions those are absolutely free okay so the thing is beam at section 2 is exactly similar to i'm at the science subjects okay you will be getting additional questions so for your like similar to your IMAT exam so solve all the BMAT papers from 2003 up till 2024 now there is no more BMAT so from 2003 up till 2024 solve all the BMAT section 2 okay once you are done with BMAT past papers now you need practice books okay you will be solving along the way practice books now the practice books are there for BMAT and then there is one book for IMAT and then there are alpha test books so the books that you have to be using the first one i would suggest must use beam at 700 it has got really good the questions are really good for maths after maths there are like biology is good really good and then you can use the beam at junior admission books those are all absolutely fine for your practice not that good but they will be doing the job and after that you need alpha test alpha test has got multiple question banks alpha test 1300 alpha test 1200 alpha test 600 so get i would say 1300 and try to solve them okay all these books will make a consecutive question bank of 10,000 to 15,000 ish questions if you can solve all these books that like 10,000 15,000 questions along with the lectures and books like the textbooks if you can use them remember this thing i know that sounds like but how we can do in two months you can absolutely do it within like studying every day from 7 to 8 hours and then 9 to 10 to 13 hours if you can sit for that time because it's all about your career so if you can sit for that i can guarantee you you can absolutely smash this exam so okay by solving all the practice books and your textbook and along with lectures if you can do so you can be absolutely a beast version and you can absolutely smash this exam in two months now you might be asking how we can focus for that much how should we be studying like we can't sit for like three four hours because here we have to scroll instagram and we are addicted to it i know i'm in that habit as well so the best thing i would be suggesting you use pomodoro technique the pomodoro technique is you need to focus for certain time i would suggest the ideal time that people have got is 25 minutes and then take a five minutes break then do another session they can set a timer for yourself for 25 minutes straight and prepare 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 no distraction nothing it, just studying in those 25 minutes you don't have to do anything except studying so uh, once 25 minutes are over then take a five minutes break in those five minutes go hang around do whatever you want whatever you want do it and then come again back and set time another so this way once you are done with three like pomodoros then take a 15 to 20 minutes break but i would suggest at least focus for 30 to 40 minutes and then take out five to ten minutes break that would be like a really really good so i was using the combination of two apps absolutely free apps that is microsoft clock and to do list of microsoft those like both can interlink together in one dashboard you can see that under the clock you can arrange your to do list like today i have to study for biology these these chapters and that will be there that will be asking you which task you want to focus on and you can set a timer and there will be cycles like today i want to study for eight hours you can set everything out it's absolutely free and that's like a really really good and you can even connect your spotify with it and use the study music if you want to that will be like a absolutely smash like a kind of workspace you can make so if you want a full video about 
how to get a productivity while you're studying i can make you like set a proper dashboard proper timer and everything how you can do that i can absolutely make so to comment down below but the thing here is you just need to focus okay i would say pomodoro would be life saving so try to use that and now you need a feedback partner so what feedback partner will be doing you are going to share your progress with him you can do discussion if he is like a, your elder sibling or cousin whoever it is you can share your progress you can get like i'm um, like lagging it here if you have any suggestions that would be like really really doing a work really fine okay at that time i had my sister so she was guiding me so she was already a med student and so i was getting all the guidance and even help in my academic as well so this would be like a really really good thing for you after accountability partner i would suggest you get a journal and write every day that what you are doing today like what you have done today and what you need to do today so these all the things when you are writing in the journal i am using day one that is like a really really good one i'm doing a streak there as well so i would suggest sign up there or if you want to like a physical journal write down in the notebook that's what be like doing a really good job okay i hope you guys got to understand what you should be doing for next two months i just really want you to try to increase your study hours and try to be focused and just focus on i am at oriented topics or chapters the way i explained you try to make that kind of planner and if you are interested and want to complete your whole i am at syllabus in one month then i have got a live whole course in one month along with past papers mock exams two 0.5 hours daily lectures with paper discussion and then community small discord community where you can discuss everything and along with that all the premium resources books practice books every single thing is there like a like a workspace or a, it's not a course it's a kind of system built for you to complete your whole syllabus not for just one month it will not be given access to just one month lectures will be over but you can have access up to your exam so we are going to do our august batch you can check out the link below everything every detail will be mentioned there what it will be including and videos attached as well and the new video for that will be live as well okay if you have any queries you can straight forwardly reach out to me at i sami kamar instagram and again remember this thing remember this thing the journey will be hard but you can absolutely do it all the links that i told you are in the video description go check out all the resources and start your preparation and all said if you have liked this video then thumbs it up and if you haven't subscribed this channel then do so because you are going to get lots of updates and new videos regarding pre enrollment i am at registration and about i am at exam as well so turn on the bell icon as well so you can get the, all the notification and the best thing is you can join the whatsapp channel where everything will be there now just check out this video for i am at live course and this video for about i am at lectures which lectures you should be using so see you in next video till bye bye